Hello there, and uh, tonight I'd just like to um, show you some, some of the uh, Blu-rays that I've been picking up over the last few months, and uh, I've got about 12 to show you. I haven't, I've seen a couple of them, but not many, um, so here we go. And the first one I have here is National Lampoon's Surf Party. And uh, like I say, I haven't seen this yet. But this is a German import version of the movie. And it stars Matthew Lillard. And uh, here's the back cover. And this is Region B. I don't know whether it's Region 3 or not. But it definitely plays on Region B. Because I haven't tested it. So I don't know if it will play on American Blu-ray players or not. So that's uh, National Lampoon's Surf Party. Next we have this one, which is called How to Make Love to a Woman. And it stars uh, Kristen Ritter. And uh, it also um, uh, um, stars, um, well, has an appearance by um, Jenna Jameson, who's probably most famous for being a porn star. Or ex porn star. I think I think she was in Howard Stern's Private Parts movie as well, just in a small scene. And she's probably been in countless other films, making cameo appearances and what have you. But I don't know all the films she's been in, offhand. But this is a really good film. It's a while since I've seen it though. It's really funny as well and quite romantic as well. It's sort of a romantic comedy, I would say. And it's also got the guy off um, one of the actors off Lost in it. Which um, Ian Summerholder, I think he's called. He's in it. He got killed off in Lost, though, unfortunately. And here is the back cover. And it's got a few special features on. But I'm not going to read them because I haven't got my glasses on. So if you want to see what they are, you can probably see them on the screen. So that's uh, How to Make Love to a Woman. And this is also, well, I'm not sure if it's German, but it's a European import of some sort. I'm not sure exactly where it's from. Next, we have um, The Room Upstairs. I thought it starred Sarah Jessica Parker. That's why I bought it. But apparently I've learned that she's hardly actually in it. And this film was made for television. And I believe it also stars Sam Waterston as well. Um, but I haven't watched this one yet either. So I don't know what it's like, to be honest. That's the back cover. Quite a few pictures on there. I hate these Blu-ray covers where it doesn't have like many pictures on the back. And this is the next one, by the way, which is Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, starring Steve Martin. A very funny film indeed which uh, is made up of um, clips from loads of other like old black and white films and they've made a new story uh, in, in this person the, the scenes with new footage with Steve Martin acting so it looks like he's in the scenes with the actors out of the films but it's really funny and it also stars Rachel Ward and Carl Reiner and Carl Reiner also directed it as well let's give it a shot of the back cover I forgot what I was saying before there damn it um, and I do apologize um, that I'm shooting in standard definition for this video but I'm having problems with the um, uh, other camera because it takes a while to set up with the light and everything because it doesn't shoot well in artificial lighting um, and you like um, You've got to, like, uh, I was going to set it up with a tripod and stuff, with the light and everything, but I haven't got much time at the minute because I've got to do something else after this. Anyway, I still can't remember what was I was saying before. Damn it. Anyway, on to the next one. Next one is this one, which is Hocus Pocus, the anniversary edition. And uh, I haven't seen this film ever before yet, but... um. It's got Sarah Jessica Parker in it, so I thought I would uh, 
get to get a hold of a copy um because i quite like her her acting and stuff and i've got quite a few films with her in but this has got a slip cover on it as you can see and it's got the same picture underneath as well and this has got quite a few special features on it as well i got this on pre-order before it came out actually so it turned up pretty sharp before the um day was due out um right and on to the next one which is this one which wasn't cheap actually it's called double exposure and it's sort of a slasher type thriller about a guy like a photographer who may or may not be murdering some of his models he like photographs photographs uh, like models like glamour photography for a magazine and um they suddenly start getting bumped off and stuff but he thinks he's having these dreams where uh, he's murdering his models so he he thinks he might be actually doing it somehow like he's blacking out or something and he's actually going off to kill them but he may or may not be killing them you just have to watch the film to find out but the film is very good actually it's uh it's got this one actor in it who's only got one arm and one leg and uh, I looked him up on the internet movie database and it turns out well he's dead now actually but um he fought, he fought, well, like when he was alive he actually got arrested for molesting an underage girl and he got put in prison for it so that was a interesting fact I never expected to find something like that out about an actor in this film but that's double exposure and this is a US import for its region 3 so you can play it on any Blu-ray player any UK well any Blu-ray player in the world actually right on to the next one this one is the Friday the 13th 8 film collection it hasn't got all of the films in the set but it's got most of them it hasn't got like Freddy vs Jason or Jason goes to hell and um what was the other ones? I can't think offhand. There was another two, wasn't it? Um, I can't think at this present moment. I know what they are, I just can't think right now. But this is a really good set, and it's in a really compact case, as you can see. All eight films are in there. Some of them are on uh, two films per disc. I think it's part uh, five and six, and seven and eight or on uh, uh, two per disc but the quality is, is uh, still top notch it doesn't affect the quality and yeah, the films fit comfortably on the disc two films fit comfortably on one disc without any artifacts or anything like that showing up on the screen and uh, I'm a big fan of these films I particularly like part four part five parts and part six I would say there are some of my uh, favorite ones and uh, this has got a slip cover as well where I believe some people have bought this and it turned up without a slip cover so you never know just have to hit potluck if you order one and this is a US import and it's region free it plays on any blu-ray player so that's Friday the 13th the 8 disc collection right next we have Deep Blue C2, but I haven't seen this, so I can't really tell you anything about it, apart from it's got a nice cover there, with a big shark and a girl looking at the shark swimming in the water. A lot of people say this film isn't isn't that great, but I guess I'll find out when I watch it. So next we have Blades of Glory, starring Will Ferrell and John Hedda. I've seen this film before, but I haven't watched the Blu-ray. Last time I watched it, it was on HD DVD, and the quality was uh, top notch, pin sharp, bright, colourful picture. And I presume this is taken from the same master, so it should be just as good. Next, we have The Damned United, which I also haven't seen, where it stars uh, Michael Sheen, as you can see there on the front cover. 
and it's about football, obviously. Um, I'm not a big football fan, but I don't mind watching some films about the, the subject. But um, oh, I remember what I was saying earlier. I don't like these Blu-rays where there's hardly any photographs on the back covers. And it just has like loads of information about digital copies and how to play it and everything. Just plastered all over the cover. It's like really not a very interesting cover to look at really. When they, when they make them like that, you know. Right, this next one is the UK version of fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. And this version is shorter than the US version by about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Because the, um, the American version is like an extended version. And it's got a different cover as well. And the American version has got 5.1 Dolby Digital Sound. And this version has only got uh, surround sound, like 2.0 uh, surround sound. But I haven't watched this yet, so I don't know what the sounds actually like, or the picture quality or anything. So I can't really tell you about that. But anyway, it's a really good film. I saw it at the cinema when it first came out a long time ago. And obviously it stars Kathy Bates, Mary Stuart Masterson, Jessica Tandy, and um, who's the other one? Mary Louise Parker, that's it. But it's a really good film. If you like dramas uh, and stuff like that, you might enjoy it, and romance as well. And the last one I've got to, to show you for today is Pete's Dragon, the new live-action version, which was shot in 3D, but you can't buy a 3D copy of it on Blu-ray anywhere in the world. Isn't that just marvellous? But uh, I was hoping to get a 3D copy of it, and this is the um, Australian import version. But I haven't watched this yet. But uh, like I say, I was hoping to buy it in 3D, but you can't get it for some reason. If anyone knows why you can't get it in 3D, I'd like to know. I know that they seem to be phasing 3D out, and it's virtu virtually dead in America, apparently. And they're going to do the same with it here, I think. Because a lot of 3D films now are going for a fiver on eBay from a certain seller. But not on Amazon they're not. They're still quite expensive for the most part on Amazon. So I'm not sure if they're £5 because they're killing the format off. Because it's dying. So they're reducing the films. I'm not sure if that's the reason or not. But we'll have to wait and see. It'll probably die out eventually. But if you if you want... If you want to... Um, if you're interested in 3D, I would suggest you buy as many as you can afford before there's none left. <laughs> before you can't buy them anymore, like HD DVD, you know, where they're completely just um, eradicated, basically. So that's Pete Dragon, the live action version. This is the Australian import, and you can get this quite cheap on eBay off a, off a seller called Jim's Vinyl, Vinyl in Record Store, or something like that. Jim's Vinyl Stores, Vinyl Record Store, something like that, anyway. Anyway, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this video once again. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Yeah, yeah, sometimes in HD quality, not in this crappy standard definition resolution. Um, and don't forget to um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Obviously, a thumbs down if you don't. So thanks very much for watching this video, and I shall catch you on the next one. So bye for now.